Well, further delay scuttle big plans for Buffalo waterfront development. News for senior correspondent Rich Newberg is live from downtown with the very latest. Rich. Well, a very important land deal still needs common council approval, but it didn't happen today. They want more time to study it. Meanwhile, Congressman Brian Higgins has given Bass Pro two weeks to make a final decision on whether or not it will come to Buffalo. I don't think anybody should ever talk to Bass, about Bass Pro again unless they're signing the dotted line. And I'm glad that uh, Congressman Higgins said either fish or cut bait. But Bass Pro's final decision may hinge on a crucial 10 acres of land in front of the HSBC arena that still must be transferred from the city to the Erie Canal Harbor Development Corporation. The mayor had worked out a deal, but Buffalo lawmakers say they need more time now to study it. I'm glad that it's going to committee because I think that that gives us an opportunity to be able to tweak it and have some people come in and take a look at it. This land deal, according to waterfront planners, includes certain guaranteed standards for the entire waterfront project, green building designs, labor agreements, and provisions for local businesses to locate on the waterfront. But some lawmakers have been complaining that direct benefits to the community have not been spelled out up until now. They have been holding out for a community benefits agreement. If we want certain things in this agreement before the land transfer, uh, land transfer then we should have that. We need a plan that generates income for our local uh, workforce, and we need a plan that generates wealth for our local entrepreneurs. The land transfer deal would give each council district a million dollars to help small businesses and create jobs. But council member Michael Accurto, who still hasn't been sold on the deal, called it a bribe. I still think that there's a, there's a, a, a chance to come out with a, a, a CBA, meaning community benefits agreement, not council bribery agreement. And I, uh... Well, lawmakers could vote on this very important land deal as early as next week or perhaps later in the summer. On another very important issue, the uh, vote on Daniel Dorenda is expected tomorrow, and I'm told there are enough votes for him to get in. Reporting live at City Hall, Rich Newberg, News 4 at 530.